there are friends, there is family, and then there are friends that become family. And Liana Fives is one of those friends. This woman carried a baby for her friend, but a few weeks later, she discovered something shocking. After Liana got married to her husband Sean, they both couldn't wait to start a big family. Thankfully, they got their wish and within a few years they already had five adorable kids. However, their lives took an intriguing turn when Liana realized she had conceived for the sixth time. But this time her baby belonged to another friend. Does that make Liana a Renera Targaryen? It gets even worse when you realize that the father of her unborn child is Kevin Baratini. Kevin and his wife Nicole had been unable to have a child. After tying the knot in 2010, the couple moved down to Smithen, New York, one of the best places in the state to raise a family. They wanted to have kids and start their own family, but life had other plans for them. For years, they tried their best to have a baby, but it just wasn't working for them. Sadly, Nicole and her husband had to accept that they couldn't have children. But why? Well, this problem began when Nicole was just 16 years old. She started to have a high fever regularly and got fatigued easily. Then, she noticed slight bumps all over her body and her eyes became jaundiced. After visiting her pediatrician at the hospital, the results of her blood test was quite disturbing. She had just 8,000 platelets per microliter and at some point it even dropped to 3,000 platelets per microliter, whereas a healthy person is meant to have 140,000 to 150,000 platelets per microliter. She was transferred to a children's hospital in New Hyde and after undergoing more tests, the doctors told her she had an autoimmune disorder called immune thrombocytopenic purpura, also known as ITP, a condition that allows harmful blood clots to form all over her body. Young Nicole became very sick and at some point her life was in danger. Therefore, she had her plasma changed and went through regular immunotherapy. Luckily for her, doctors found a suitable treatment option that improved her condition. Thanks to the medication, she was able to live normally. Unfortunately, after being married for a year, she discovered she couldn't have a baby. No one knew that the medicine that allowed her to live a healthy and happy life would also be the source of her problems. She had no problem with her womb. However, she couldn't get pregnant because of her ITP medications. Doctors stated that the medicine could hurt her baby. But if she stopped using her medications, her health would be in danger. Nicole realized she was in a catch-22 situation and accepted that her health issues wouldn't allow her to have a baby. She found herself between a rock and a hard place and she didn't know how to tell her husband about the situation. But when she finally told him, he simply comforted her and didn't make her feel guilty. I got home from work that evening and my wife had that look on her face like something was wrong. I asked her what the problem was. Then she told me the doctors didn't think we could have children. You know, it came as a shock and it wasn't what I was hoping to hear. Kevin recalled. The couple decided to adopt a child instead. However, they discovered that they couldn't afford it. One morning, they visited a fertility specialist to look for another solution. Fortunately, the doctor revealed that Nicole's ailment was not genetic. This meant that she could have a baby provided someone carries her eggs. Therefore, Nicole opted to have her eggs frozen so that she could have someone else carry her eggs for her. For the first time, it looked like she and Kevin would finally have a child. Since paid surrogacy was illegal in New York, the couple looked for a surrogate mother outside the state. But they soon discovered that just like adoption, it would cost them a lot of money to get one. They'd have to spend around $150,000. Therefore, they decided to make use of a gestational carrier, which differs from traditional surrogacy. This way, the carrier wouldn't be connected to the baby genetically. This type of surrogacy was accepted in the state, however, the problem was that it would have to be done for free. Nicole and her husband knew it would be difficult to find someone without paying a dime. We'd heard stories that sisters and mothers carried eggs for women who couldn't, but I don't have a sister and my mother was past the age of being a carrier. We knew it was not every day that another woman agrees to act as a surrogate for another for no compensation at all. So we just froze my eggs for precautionary reasons and hoped for the best, the woman explained. A few days later, friends and family heard about her condition. 
The couple was surprised by the number of people who stepped up to the plate. Many of them offered to help her and her husband by being a carrier. Unfortunately, after the doctors carried a test out on the potential carriers, they deemed them to be unfit. Kevin and his wife were devastated. However, Fortune smiled at them one day. It was in late 2015 when they finally and surprisingly found a carrier, Liana, their close friend for over 15 years. That day, Nicole and her husband had visited Liana and her husband, Sean. They explained to them their struggles and were just expecting some words of encouragement from their friends. Liana listened to them carefully and when they were done talking, she said, You know, I have five children and I want to have maybe one more. Not for me, for you guys. I'd like to carry a child. Despite not offering to be a carrier early on, Liana always knew she might end up helping the couple. And when she told them she was willing to carry a child for them, Nicole didn't realize it when tears started rolling down her eyes. This was a moment she thought would never happen. Liana had known about their struggle since she had her second child. She felt sorry for her friends and decided to help them. She had also thought about being a surrogate mother. So when she talked about it with her husband, he gave her his full support. When she was asked why she helped her friends, the woman said, I was blessed to have five kids and they're all amazing. I just couldn't picture my life without them. Kevin and Nicole deserved kids and to see them struggling to have one broke my heart. I didn't have to think twice about it. After realizing their friend would help them have a child, Kevin and Nicole supported her all along the way. Thankfully, she passed all her medical tests and doctors confirmed she was fit to be a carrier. After going through some legal procedures, it was time to implant the embryos. However, there was no guarantee it would be successful. In June 2016, she tried two of Nicole's embryos. Sadly, the pregnancy test came out negative. The two couples were sad about the result. However, the doctors informed them not to give up yet because they intend on implanting more embryos. The doctors did the procedure again and after a few weeks, the result was out. Together, Liana, Sean, Kevin and Nicole went to the hospital. The couples were anxious about the result. This was Nicole's best chance of having a child and it felt like it was slipping away. But not anymore. This time, the doctor said the words she's been longing to hear. Liana was pregnant. Still, that wasn't the only surprise they got. It gets even better. Guess what? Liana was pregnant with twins. Isn't that amazing? After all these years, Kevin and Nicole were going to be parents of not one, but two kids. The excited couple couldn't stop thanking their friends for their unwavering support. Throughout the pregnancy, Kevin and his wife joined and supported Liana and her husband at doctor's appointments. Thankfully, the pregnancy had no complications. On February 10, 2017, Liana gave birth through C-section to twins, a girl and a boy. When Kevin and Nicole finally saw their babies for the first time, they couldn't hold back their tears. It was the most amazing moment of their life. The happy couple named their kids Luciana and Dominic. They were so grateful to Sean and his lovely wife and Liana became the twins' godmother. After going through a lot to have a baby, Nicole and her husband advocated making paid circus illegal in New York State. They also shared their story to inspire people that there is someone out there willing to take the journey of surrogacy with them. It's never the end of the road. There are people out there like Liana that will do it out of kindness. It's easier to find them than it seems, Nicole said. Thanks to Liana, she and her husband now had a family blessed with two beautiful kids. So what do you think about this selfless act of friendship? I can't wait to read them in the comments. Till next time, stay safe.